Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is brought to you by Shakespeare, the official tackle company of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. Let's take a look at the Shakespeare Fishing and Weather Report for today's show. Fish on, Chris. Fish on, Boog. Fish on. Mm. Tell you what, as the fog clears, look at that. Mm. He's not. Looks like a litter mate there. As a matter of fact, he may even have the code broke here. Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm. Ah, that's a little bit. That's a little bit larger than the last one there, my friend. Got mud all over him. Yeah, laying does. right on the bottom. Well, folks, we're fishing on Lake Greenwood up in South Carolina, the mid-state, and they call it the upstate here. And our guide today, Chris Simpson, he's been guiding up on this lake for about two years now commercially, but he's from here and he's lived here all of his life. So this is a guy that can put you on fish. And again, part of our destination series, catfishing Lake Greenwood, South Carolina. And there's more where that one came from, my friend. Let me tell you something. You did good. Now we got to tell everybody how we're rigged here today, Chris, real quick. Uh, pull that out so folks can know. Because I, every every place that we go, we always have the guides tell the secrets, okay? Now, that doesn't mean that, uh, you know, you're going to be able to come up here and put yourself on fish, but maybe. Yeah. Well, it's basically basic Santee-style drift rig, uh, buckshot and a slinky, slinky weight buckshot, and a uh, parachute cord, shoestring, however you want to make it. I normally use a three-inch float because... A lot of times they use a lot bigger bait. We got get more fish. fish here. Fish, right? Get him. All right, come on, get him, Chris. <laughs> we, we will we will talk about the rig in just a second as we get these fish in. And all right, man, look at that. You're doing that like a pro. All right, look at that. Now listen, when folks come up here to fish, you catch a lot of fish, do you not? Yeah. And and in that that size and category, of course, folks. You know we're going to let all the fish go here today because that's kind of what we do, but when you come up here, these channel cats and these flatheads that you're going to catch, again, you're going to catch them up on the, the, the larger extent here, probably 12, 13 pounds, and that's a good size for a channel cat. So, uh, and with that, when you got it, my friend? Yeah. Hey, listen, and I have my union card for the net, <laughs> so uh, I, I am uh, school trained on, on the net if you need it. You just holler at it. Uh, I think I'll lift you, him. You got it. Okay. I think just kind of keep getting a little bit bigger. That one's got a little bit, a little bit bigger size to him. Hey, look at there. Hmm. That's getting a little bit closer to average size. Yeah, that is. That's uh, that's not a bad looking fish right there. Uh oh. And with that, he is uh, he is Tangled coming alive. Line. Yeah. Hey, he's going to even talk to us this morning. I love it when they talk to us. And he kind of got all wrapped around there, but he's going to, he's going to make it, <laughs> going to make it. Let me put this thing up just a little bit as we talk to him. Now show all the folks out there. Now that would go what? Good. That's about a four pounder. Yeah. Little, just a little above, a little below average actually, but uh. And talk about good fillets. That's yep. a good eating catfish right there. Mm. 